Welcome back to Efax number one stop to entertainment and trending news. Now this is one of the most heartbreaking stories of a mother who is on her final days knowing that she'll not be there for her children asks well wishes to help her as she approaches her final days so that she knows that she leaves her children well taken care of behind. All she wanted was $320,000 but she has ended up raising $15,000 on her GoFundMe with 9,800 donations. But before this goal, let's get to see what she had written that moved thousands of people. She shares, hello, my name is Alicia and I have fought so hard to stay on this side of heaven. My prayer has always been that God would bless me with the ability to raise my children. From there, lay my eyes on my grandbabies and assist in raising them as well. However, because of my prognosis, I will not be granted either. The last two years, I fought with everything in me to stay here for my children. Having a second round with cancer, this time it being labeled terminal, has shattered my children and I to pieces. So many prayers seeking answers, so many tears shed, not understanding why. In November of 2022, the chemotherapy stopped. Therapy stopped working. Since then, the doctors have tried other study trials that have since then been declared useless. Yet I still refuse to fathom the idea that they will become orphans or placed with unsafe people who will emotionally, mentally, and yes, even physically destroy them once I'm gone. Hear me. I've been fighting with all I had, all I have to remain here. I'm broken hearted that what seems to be a simple prayer was answered with the news I did not want to hear, that I'm approaching the end of life and must get my affairs in order. I've prayed against it, fasted for a miracle, went to chemotherapy treatments, experimented with herbal solutions, and God's answer has not changed. Throughout this journey, it's been my children and I mostly, with a couple of God sent angels who helped in assisting me along the way. Outside of that, my children and I had to make do with the hand I was given. My oldest daughter playing a crucial role in my care. I'm going to miss that girl so much. I'm going to miss all of my children. I am preparing this GoFundMe from the hospital room where my oldest daughter and I have cried all we could cry. I wouldn't wish this feeling of helplessness or this experience on my worst enemy. Having to hold my teenager and kiss her a million times as we both cried, hearing her say in between the sobbing and tears, why won't God heal you? I don't want to lose you mama. That broke me. There's nothing I can do and I really don't have the correct words to say that will heal her heart. All four of my babies has had to watch me decline over time and I'm so tired you all. I must say I'm so proud of them because all of them were and are completely understanding of my limitations. With death slowing creeping upon me, I still manage to care for them and I thank God he granted me this ability. However, because of my health, I'm slowly losing the ability to continue on. The cancer has spread to my liver. The tumor is so huge. It covers the entire lower part of my stomach. It is bringing an alarm to my surrounding organs as well. I do not have life insurance because once diagnosed with something as serious as this, I no longer qualify for services. It is my wish that all who read my story in part that you will graciously donate towards my funeral and burial expenses, allowing my children to have an opportunity to give a proper goodbye to the one that loved them the most. The one who fought hard as hell to be here to love, nurture, teach, protect, and demonstrate how to live with character, gratitude, forgiveness, generosity, integrity, me, their mother, to my children. If I never get the ability to write all my words or forever love down, I just want you all to know I love every one of you dearly. You all have blessed my life, especially towards the end. The jokes and laughter, movie nights, cuddling, exploring the city, shopping, feeding the homeless, competitive and hilarious Bible studies, simply lying next to me and being present. So many beautiful memories you all have given me. Mama loves all of you so much. I lived a long life of abuse and I'm beyond grateful that God had picked each and every one of you to do life with me. Because of you all, Jetta, Naya, Chiwi, and Johnny, I was able to experience and embrace unconditional love. You all are such great children. Some nights, I cry that I won't be able to be here to watch you all succeed in life and do greater things than me. But I'll be rooting for you all on the other side. Thank you so much for always being helpful, loving, and obedient children. Thank you for my four heartbeats for praying for me when my body was fighting against the pain, for loving me while I 
I was healthy, while I was sick, and soon when I'm gone. I will never stop loving you all, but my love will continue on in the next life. You all have made Mama so proud. Love you, love you, love you, love you forever. I'm going to miss your unique differences in personality, humor, and creativity. Gosh, this hurts like hell. Always remember to keep God first and he will direct your path. It is his decision to fully take over from here. And although I don't want to leave my position as your old mother, I must, I have no choice. His plans for your life is beyond what I could do. Trust him. He is a far better parent than me. It has been an honor to be your mother. The best opportunity and assignment I was ever given. Love you all so much. Thank you to every donor who will come across this page and bless us, who will play a crucial part in my home going and whatever is left over will go to the care of my beautiful children. I've fought so hard, but now it's time that I prepare for my transition while my children prepare as well. Again, all proceeds will go to my funeral, burial, their attire and care. Thank you for reading. Thank you for supporting. Thank you for donating. So as mentioned earlier, thousands of people were moved by her story. They donated more than what she had hoped for. And in fact, she gave an update a couple of hours ago that um, she is in the process of having a legalized will. She also shared as of 1st September, she transitioned into a hospice care. Cancer treatment is very expensive. So you can imagine when there's nothing more that can be done. You have children, young children that you are leaving behind. You don't know how they will be. And the only thing that she could do as a mother at this point is ask for help so that she knows or is assured that whatever is there will be able to take care of her children knowing that her children will be okay even in her absence that is what will give her peace i mean it's just sad you're up to date thanks so much for watching subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be the first to be notified once of any new uploads i'll catch you on the next one bye bye